Good morning everyone, this is Robert Stevens here on the Robert Channel News for this Wednesday, 29th of October 14. And here, this is your, your look at the news for today. Here's the stock report, stock futures. The Dow futures are down, no, they're up $1. NASDAQ futures down 11, S&P's down 2, so we're looking at a mixed futures, 10 year yield is up 0.03, gold is down 70 cents, and oil is up 43 cents, so that's that. Uh, first news, DHS boosts security of federal buildings because of what happened in Canada last week. Russia reportedly suspected of being behind breach of White House computers. And New York man behead woman then jumps in front of train. Ebola battle. Defiant nurse won't undergo main quarantine. Secret Service quits over scandal incident regarding a hooker. A main cargo rocket explodes seconds after takeoff. The uh, Royals Giants baseball loses to the Kansas City Royal, causing them to have to take seven games after being dropped 10 0. So, and Mexico searching for 43 missing students, and yes, dozens of bodies turns up in mass graves. World War II pilot found buried in his fighter plane. Bombing suspect surrenders in Boston Marathon convicted of lying to FBI. Supreme Court states execution of Missouri prisoner. Men hunt for kill who shot mom in front of husband. And a Massachusetts serial rapist and, and armed fugitive has been arrested in upstate New York. Yep. Now Weymouth for weather. Right now it's 58 degrees and partly cloudy but expected to rain tonight. High of 74. And then low oh, 45 tonight. Now they extend the seven day forecast. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, low 39, high 57. Friday, partly cloudy, low 45, high 53. Rain on Saturday, low 35, high 49. And the same thing for Sunday, low 30, high 44. Monday, low 33, high 48 on sunny skies. Tuesday, Election Day, partly cloudy, low 45, high 58. Go out there and vote then. And that, uh, and that concludes your, and next Wednesday will be partly cloudy, low 46, high 59. 20% chance of rain, and that uh, concludes your weather forecast. Now we move on to traffic. Oh yes, traffic brought to you by Amtrak. 128 South jammed severely from the jug handle to uh, way to uh, to 128 and then slightly delayed from 128 from 93, no, 128 that means to 19 from 93 all the way down to exit to route 2 jammed continuously. Upper end of Route 3 from the low connector down down uh, to uh, Concord Road. Ninety three itself down and jammed from just past one thirty three All the way down to the city, literally, from then, from Route 133, and then it gets worse. Just before around Route 125, and then 
it's jammed steadily all the way to town. Eastbound on the Mass Pike is jammed just after Hopkinton through most of the stretch between 495 and 128 and then from 128 to West Newton and then by the Newton Corner. 93 North. Southeast Expressway is jammed the entire 9 miles and so is Route 3 from North Quincy up. And Route 3 lower end is jammed from Route 123 to Route 228. Then again jammed between from Derby Street till, till just short of Braintree. Now let's look at south of Boston. 95 North is jammed from uh, exits 9 and 10 all the way up to 109. 24 North jammed from 123 in Brockton all the way to the end, all the way to 93, 128. Lower into 495 looks good. So it's a uh, lower end of 24, 140. Gonna see how 190. Oh, 195 looks good. And uh, Rhode Island, Southern Massachusetts looks good. I-195 yeah. mm, Highways around Providence look good only only Route 6 to I-95 from exit 23 until exit 23 is where they only hiccup for now and then I-195 from India Point, a little bit easter. Yeah, only other slight hiccup. But other than that, you look good, and that now concludes your news, weather, sports, and traffic. We'll see you again later today with another newscast. Bye, everybody, and to the Robert Channel.